So today we're going to be doing weaning parameters through the servo eye. What you want to do before you come into the room is check your chart for the order, check your patient's history, put gloves on, and come in and identify your patient. Good morning, Mr. Smith. How are you doing today? We're going to be doing some measurements with the, uh, through the ventilator to see if we can get rid of this tube. Additionally, you want to make sure that the sedation is decreased, they're responsive, and do they follow commands? Um, nurse, have you uh, decreased the uh, sedation? Okay, good, good. Okay, any pain? You're feeling fine, good. Okay. So you want to check and make sure your FiO2 is less than 50%. Check the PEEP. Is it less than or equal to 6 centimeters of water pressure? Make sure your chest x-ray has improved. And most importantly, has the underlying condition that caused your patient to go on the ventilator in the first place begun to resolve? So you want to make sure you remember to tell your patient what you were doing. Hey, Mr. Smith, we're going to be uh, doing those measurements. I'll tell you how I want you to breathe with each one, OK? So first thing you want to do is make sure you change your patient to a spontaneous mode. You want to choose sleep, CPAP slash pressure support. Make sure you turn your pressure support the whole way down because that will augment your tidal volume if you leave that on. And once you hit accept, make sure you tell the patient to breathe nice and normal. Okay, Mr. Smith, I want you to breathe nice and normal. So you want to have your patient breathe nice and normal. From these settings, you can get their spontaneous respiratory rate, their tidal volume, their minute volume, and you can calculate out their RSBI. Remember, rate, you want to accept between 12 and 30. Tidal volume, your goal should be 5 to 10 mLs per kilogram based on ideal body weight. Minute ventilation, 5 to 10 liters per minute. And remember, your RSBI should be less than 105. So now for vital capacity, you're going to instruct your patient to take a real big breath in and blow it the whole way out. Mr. Smith, I'm going to have you take in a great big deep breath and blow it all out, okay? Big breath in. Good, 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 good. Keep going. Okay, now push it out. Blow it out. Push it out. Push it out. Don't have to go very fast. Just get it all the way out, 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 out. Very good. Okay, back to normal breathing. And while they're doing this, you want to make sure you're checking the expiratory tidal volume in the bottom right corner. That will be your vital capacity. Ideally, you would do this three times to make sure you get three consistent numbers. So there are two ways to get your NIF. The first one you could do is go in and set your trigger to negative 20 for your pressure. Then make sure you hit accept. We'll also be going through the other way because you don't want to make sure you forget to turn it, return it back to the normal settings. So the second way is we're actually going to instruct the patient on what we want them to do. So to instruct the patient on the NIF, you're going to want to hold the expiratory hold in and tell your patient to suck in as hard as they can. Meanwhile, you're going to watch the pressure up at the measured peep to see the greatest negative number that you can get. So you're going to hold it in, tell them to suck in real hard, and get your value, negative 41. You want to remember too also that's negative 41. You want to include your already on 5 of peep, so your NIF is actually negative 46. And remember that the NIF, you want it less than negative 20 centimeters of pressure. So the more negative, the better. 